There's a new camera that's just been released and it's completely disrupting the video production world. Not only that, but I think this camera, it's one of the best options for churches in 2019. It's affordable, it's versatile, and it's high quality. And so in this video, I'll reveal what camera I'm talking about, along with my preferred configuration for it when it comes to lenses, stabilizers, and more. Well, hey there, and welcome to Pro Church Tools, the show where in 10 minutes or less, you're gonna get a dose of tips and tactics to help your church share the message of Jesus while we navigate the biggest communication shift in 500 years. I'm your host, Alex Mills, joined as always by the boss man, Brady Shearer. Earlier in 2018, Alex, Blackmagic Design announced their sequel to the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera, mm-hmm. the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. 4K. Exactly. It was set to release in September of 2018. And as of this recording, which is later in October 2018, most people that pre-ordered still don't have their camera. Right. But we are not most people, Alex, because we do have (laughs) Uh, with us right now the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. Now, how do we get our hands on this camera, Alex? Well, it's a long story. (laughs) It's a wild, wild adventure. Recently, Alex and I traveled to the Sierra Nevada Corridor in Mm -hmm. California, and we had had this trip planned for several months, and so we had the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K pre-ordered for a number of months, expecting it to arrive in September, and our trip was in mid-October. Spoiler alert... The camera didn't arrive <laughs> Of on course time. it didn't. <laughs> and I was in Nashville the Thursday before the Monday. So just four okay. days before that we were planning right. to leave on this trip. And I was in this Facebook group of Black Magic Pocket Cinema Camera owners or prospective owners. And one of them said, hey, there's this small boutique shop in Brooklyn called Kellard's, K-E-L-L-A-R-D apostrophe S. Mm-hmm. And they've got some of these cameras in stock. So you started sprinting in the general direction of New York City. I went to their website. <laughs> oh, Right. confirmed with them they actually had one in stock uh-huh. and it wasn't a rumor and purchased it immediately the problem was it was only going to deliver in america and we were not living in america and it wasn't going to get to where we needed to be in on in time. time so what i did was i had it sent to california to socal where one of our engineers lived and then what i did was i got on my instagram <laughs> and this is where things get really crazy uh-huh. and I got on my Instagram stories and I said, look, is there anyone in Pro Church Nation that would be willing to on Monday night? No, not would be willing to. That would be crazy enough. Crazy enough on Monday night to pick up this camera <laughs> in SoCal and drive it to our hotel in Barstow, Barstow California. California. <laughs> it was, was going to be probably about a five hour round trip. Yeah. And within 27 minutes, we had a response. Yeah. And on Monday night in our terrifying Motel 6 in Barstow, spoiler alert, <laughs> I would not give this hotel five stars. No. Adrian and his buddy Vincent drove up to us they and sure handed did. us the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera Legends. 4K. So that's the story of how we got this. The reason I'm saying this is the best camera for churches in 2019 is because, let's be honest, most of us are not going to be able to get our hands on this camera until right. the new year. What makes this camera so amazing? We shot with it on the trip through the Sierra Nevada mm-hmm. Corridor. And the pros, first of all, is that this camera is com- is very, very compact yeah. and very, very lightweight. And what's great about that is that you can shoot for long periods of time Mm -hmm. without getting tired, but also it's very stealth. And the problem with bigger video cameras is that they can throw people off, whether that be intrusive people in your church. Yeah. But even if you're just out in the, you know, in everyday life, they can look, uh, you know, a little bit awkward. They can draw attention. You get people asking questions. You get people acting weird. This looks like just a regular DSLR camera, yeah. it's a very similar size. And if you're wondering, like, okay, what could you compare this to? I have now, for those listening, just picked up the Panasonic GH5. And you can tell that it's definitely bigger than the GH5. Yeah. Both are micro four thirds cameras. But the difference with the lenses off is not that much. The Pocket 4K is wider. Yeah. But aside from that, it's about the same depth. And so you're talking about a very compact camera, it's light. And it's very stealth and unobtrusive. Oh, yeah. You could fit that this camera in just about any bag or backpack that you have, any gear, f- general, like, photo bag. This, I think, general, like, area volume is likely smaller than my pro-level DSLR body uh, with the battery grip on. And I, I just, I, I couldn't wait to get this camera in my hands. And once I did, I was just so happy with the way it felt. Um, it's really light, really, like, um, maneuverable. The mm. screen is huge. Ergonomically, it just feels great in your hands and is a blast to use. What else do we love about this camera? It shoots 4K. It does. It shoots high frame rates up to 60 frames per second Mm -hmm. in 4K. 
It shoots ProRes. It shoots RAW. Shoot, soon it will shoot the Black Magic RAW codec, which yep. is extremely exciting. We have never seen a camera of this size able to shoot that high quality. Right. Previously, we were shooting with the Blackmagic Ursa Mini Pro, which is about, I would say, five times the size Easy. of this. And, and 100 now, times the weight. <laughs> the identical specs in a camera that, if you had extremely large pants, would fit in your pocket. <laughs> right. Now, what makes this camera even better is the configuration options. So Alex right now is putting onto the table the DJI Ronin-S stabilizer. Now, to compare, I just if you're watching this, and you really should watch this episode of Pro yeah. Tools, you'll be seeing a video right now of one of our employees, Tristan. He has the original DJI <laughs> Ronin M, which is actually the smaller version, right. with the Ursa Mini Pro mounted on the Ronin. So the Ronin is a camera stabilizer that keeps the camera perfectly stabilized, so you get a bunch of really nice smooth shots. Mm -hmm. That setup was so heavy that he had to wear a vest with extension arms oh, yeah. to hold onto the setup. That was 24 months ago, not even. That was about 18 months ago. Yeah. And within 18 months, we now have an identical setup with the same company, but a better and more compact stabilizer, yeah. and the same company with a better and more compact camera, mm -hmm. about one-tenth the price and about one one-hundredth of the weight. Right. This is amazing. I cannot overstate how incredibly innovative and how fast-paced the camera video production world is. Yeah. This type of setup would have cost 100 times, maybe 200 times this price 10 years ago, and even just 20 months ago, it would have cost about 10x this. Yeah. That's how innovative this setup is. Yeah. This stabilizer is amazing. This camera is amazing. The combination of the two, we shot with this. It's, it's unreal. It's unreal. Yeah. So let's talk about lens options. The first lens that we've shot with on the Pocket 4K is this little Panasonic 14 mil pancake lens. It's an f2.5. And this lens is great because it's extremely light and tiny. And this was a perfect pairing for when we had the Pocket 4K on the Ronin yeah. S. But we've since gotten a couple other lenses. We've tried it with this lens on the GH5, which is the Panasonic 12 to 35 mil f2.8. We've had this lens for years. Yeah. It's got built-in image stabilization. It's about a thousand bucks. It's a nice zoom lens. It's a great micro four thirds well, lens. Well, that's what's nice about these two lenses is that they're native to this right. sensor size. And so you don't need any adapters. You don't need anything between the camera body and the lens. You just snap it in and you're good to go. We recently just got this Tamron lens, but you do need an adapter to use as that lens. So we have the Metabones Ultra Speed Booster on this camera, mm -hmm. which allows us to mount Canon EF lenses onto the micro four thirds mount. Right. Not only that, but it also extends the focal range or it just makes the lenses, what is it, what's the right word? Wider, longer, better? Longer. longer. Yeah. Okay, so but at a, also better. <laughs> at a 0 0.71 multiplication. Right. So if this is a 24 millimeter lens, you would multiply that by 0 0.71 mm -hmm. to get the new focal length. But you also have to take into account the 1.9 crop, although crop isn't really crop, but anyways, we're getting into a time. I don't know how math, math works. At. Basically, this Tamron lens is amazing. It's a 24 to 70 mil f2.8 mm -hmm. with the speed booster that becomes an equivalent f2.0 32 to 94 right. millimeter if you were comparing this mount to a full frame camera. So it's an incredibly versatile lens. What's amazing about this lens is that it has cinema glass in it pretty much. But what's truly amazing is the image stabilization. Yeah, it's wild. We put this lens on this mount, on this camera, and then extended the lens all the way to its maximum reach, which is 70 mils, equivalent of about 93 mils on this camera. Turned on the image stabilization, and it was like looking at a camera on a tripod. Yeah. 93 millimeters at 24 frames per Hand second held. should be crazy yeah. shaking. Handheld. And it was 100% still. Yeah. This is the best image stabilized lens that I've ever seen. And the reason it's so great for this camera is that I can now take this tiny setup and get very, very stable footage wherever I want to go. Mm -hmm. And if, then if I want like buttery smooth, like tracking shots, I can add it on this tiny gimbal. And within a carry-on, I've got a complete like cinema run and gun setup yeah. that is amazing. Uh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Well, I was just going to say for your church context, this is going to be the perfect setup for so many different uses. So if you're filming um, on stage during the worship experience, you know, with paired with the the stabilization of the the Ronin S, you're you're going to be able to to get these these really active, moving, sweeping shots. And there's a ton of light available at 
f2.0 with that with that lens uh, 2.5 I, I believe with the other pancake lens there but also filming for like testimonial videos or um, any kind of interview any kind of talking head video this camera is going to be very versatile for your use in church and is not going to let you down absolutely let's talk about the cons of this camera there are none it's perfect, it's let's, perfect. No, okay no there are a couple <laughs> of cons it takes LPE6 Canon batteries, yeah. which are great because a lot of people already have them. We had mm -hmm. a ton lying around. But the battery life on this is not great. Not great. Now, on the previous pocket camera, the battery life was about 38 seconds. It so was it's the a lot worst. better on this. It's about 38 minutes. Right. But you've still got to have, you know, eight to 10 batteries charged and ready to go if you want a full day shooting. Mm -hmm. Also, if you care about autofocus, this is not the camera for you. You're going to want to go with, you know, the Canon M50 or one of the Canons because they have brilliant autofocus. Yeah. This is a cinema camera. It's a cinema camera. This is a cinema <laughs> camera. So if you care about autofocus, you're not going to get that on a cinema camera because right. this is a cinema camera. Uh, also, it has no built-in ND filters, right. which no camera this size does, but the Ursa Mini Pros do. Mm -hmm. And so I've become accustomed to having built-in NDs. It's quite the luxury. That's the one thing that this doesn't have that the Ursa Mini Pro does. Yeah. This has better low light performance. It outperforms the Ursa Mini in pretty much every other way as far as I'm concerned, but yeah. you will lose that functionality. Now, for church context, Alex has mentioned a couple of different applications, but what is this going to be good for? For your church, it's gonna be great for video announcements talking head videos, story videos, anything with a narrative, B-roll. So anytime you're shooting anything of a church service, of a yep. church event, it's also great for sermon bumpers and even recording your church's services. What's yep. it not good for? Live streaming your church services. If you're going to upload later, it's fine, but this is not a live production camera. It's not a live production camera. It's not going to be great for live production. It's a cinema camera. It's a cinema camera. Also, not great for vlogging. It's a little too heavy for that, and it doesn't have the autofocus needed for vlogging if you're doing the vlog yourself. Right. If you're doing documentary-style vlog where you're doing someone else, that's mm -hmm. fine. And then this is also not a stills camera. So if you want a camera that's a hybrid, like the Panasonic GH5 that'll yeah. shoot video and stills, go for it. <laughs> Technically, the 4K Pocket does have a stills button, but it's just taking a single frame of what you're seeing yeah. through your video. It's not video. a stills camera. The Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. We know this video went long. If you are listening to this, you're going to want to watch it. There's mm -hmm. plenty of examples of what the footage out of this camera looks like that's being overlaid. Me holding the setup, what it's looking like, along with uh, us holding it on the table and showing you what it looks like right in front of us. That'll do it for this episode of Pro Church Tools. We'll see you next time. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Make sure that you like this video. Like the video. Subscribe. <laughs> Both of those things. Do those things now. Thank you. See you next time.